Hey everyone, Coach Jared with your FITSA, or FIT service announcement. And today we're talking about the squat, particularly a deep knee bend squat where the hips actually get below the knees, okay? Go back to gym class, eighth grade, and someone said to you, the thighs can't go past parallel, it's gonna hurt your knees, okay? Well, that's BS, number one. Number two, being able to do that, a lot of times for people that have had a series of knee injuries or just have had general like lower body problems can be challenging. And it's something that's a really cool thing to accomplish for the first time when you go, holy cow, I was able to squat and squat all the way down and get back up and my knees don't hurt. So we're gonna go through three exercises to work and progress you to be able to do that. Number one, we're gonna start with the heartbeat squat because a lot of times the ability to get down there comes from the stability through here, okay? So as you go down the squat, squat pattern, heels about shoulder width, toes pointed out. And as you go down the squat and you get deeper and deeper and kind of get hesitant to go any lower, you push the ball out further and further and further. And then as you come back up, you bring it back in works on developing that stability and strength necessary to sit deep in the squat. Then you can go to a goblet squat with a knee drive. This one we focus on actually getting the knees wide enough to get that deep because a lot of times someone will go down and the knees will kind of cave in as they go. We want to get strong enough we can get down in the squats, knees track towards the toes, I can actually push the knees out and now push out with my elbows and then take the elbows away hold the knees there and come back up, developing lots of strength in the hips inside and out. And then after that, when you've gone through and done those things, we want to do heel elevated squats. So think about it like a shoe like this that has some heel elevation, that'd be heel elevated squat versus barefoot, okay? So this kind of shoe, a running shoe, even something like a lifting shoe can all help. You can also use plates, if necessary, to put under your heels. But I would prefer just using a regular shoe because that's going to be the closest we can get you to doing a squat barefoot before you're able to actually do that. So, sit up like this, come back, set your feet. You're gonna make sure your big toe is put flush into the floor so you're not on your toes, but you're also not sitting back on your heels. And then you just squat down, get that full range. You can even sit and pause there for a little bit if you want to, and then come back up out of it. Work on that depth before you add load to it if you really want to achieve consistently that full range squat.